Wonderful uh, stuff in that fifth chapter. Now the sixth Very chapter, mm. verse 1. Mm. Brethren, even if a man is caught in any trespass, mm -hmm. you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, each one looking to yourself, lest you too be tempted. Uh, wow. Isn't that, that's humbling just to read. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yes. so we're not to hate our brother who stumbles or who, who no. fails or falls, but to seek restore him, right. to restore him. Yeah, that's no. very important because sometimes people will not forgive forever. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. There must be a point at which a man can repent and move on yeah. and not be sort of second class citizen forever yeah. because of what that's he may right. have done. And Even if it's a grievous, yeah. a grievous that's right. failure. Well, yeah. and, uh, and if we deny that other brother the mm. opportunity to repent and to be restored, mm. the next time it may be me. Yeah, it's being, you know, exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Verse 2, yeah. bear one another's burdens mm. and thus fulfill the <laughs> law of, ah. not the law of Moses no. he's got in mind, but the law of Christ. Critical term. The only, law of Christ yeah. that is that law of love that we've been yeah. talking about, you suppose. That yeah. phrase is only in 1 Corinthians 9.21. Oh, really? Like okay. The law of Christ. I'm not going to be under the law to people who are not under the law, but I will go under the law to talk to a Jew if I need sure. to. But myself, I'm not without law, but yeah. I'm within Torah of Messiah. The, the, Torah of, of Messiah. Messiah. Yes. Right? There's a Messianic yes. Torah that isn't the law of Moses. There's a different <laughs> thing. Right. I love it. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 3. For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, mm. he deceives himself. Wow. So we yeah. must be very careful not to yeah. exalt ourselves. Yeah, we have to have a, a, a moderate assessment of our talents, I think, mm. and recognize that other people have talents. Yeah. You know, and even if you think you're talented, where did you get that yeah. talent from? Yeah. How many of those talents did you give yourself? Doesn't all talent come from God? Mm. That's well, the point. And uh, yeah, and then verse four. But let each one examine his own work, mm. and then he will have reason for boasting in regard to himself alone, mm -hmm. and in not regard to another. He's not going to. Um, be able to make his boast against another, but rather right, yeah, or compare himself with another. Yeah, you know, let the other guy do his thing, you do yours, and yeah. don't make comparisons. In that sense, then each one bears his own load. And the yeah. critics say there he's contradicting <laughs> himself. If he just said bear, uh, other right. people are nice saying bear. And the verse, it's a different setting. The verse five thing. Do your own work, right? Own word. Yeah, that's right. Another Look setting, to yourself here, and that's right. Help others with their burdens. That's a separate yeah. issue. Yeah. That's not difficult. And and wouldn't it be rather uh, self exalting? Mm to look at my brother who fails or is weak or has a problem mm. and then exalt myself and say that's that's not no, me yeah. I'm you know because next time it could be me right and I have to bear that in mind yeah well yeah it's, they're the good lessons yeah. verse 6 yes and let the one who has taught the word mm. share all good things mm. with him who teaches I love that I love that we must comment on word which is the word of the gospel of the kingdom mm -hmm. and one can say that for the rest of our careers that's right the word of God in the New Testament is not just a synonym for the Bible. Mm. It's the shorthand, in-house, code word for the gospel of the kingdom of God. Very important. Mm. Wonderful. Very story. important. It's tremendously illuminating to know that. But And we're assuming then that the one who's teaching is going to be teaching that word. Yes. And the people who are listening are going to be hearing and oh, receiving yes. that right. word. Right, right. And herein is the spirit at work. This is one. That's right. Yeah. Yes. And they, and they they should be recognized in some way. I mean, yeah. obviously you can't make Surely. blanket rules here about sure. paying pastors, paying or whatever. But there is a place for some reward for, for the, the guy who yeah. labors in Surely. the word, however that may be. Yeah. Surely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Verse uh, 7, do not be deceived, mm -hmm. God is not mocked, mm -hmm. for whatever a man sows, this he will also mm -hmm. reap. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. So, verse 8, for yeah. the one who sows to his own flesh mm -hmm. shall from the flesh reap corruption, wow. but the one who sows to the Spirit shall from the Spirit reap eternal life. Excellent, excellent. Wow. Yeah, and the yeah. flesh, you know, and Paul, is that downward pull. It's, it's the bad part of the corrupt part, which mm -hmm. left on its own gets into all kinds of problems, and left to the law of Moses results in backbiting, fighting. It doesn't work at all. That's not going to work. That's right. So it's a fleshly yeah. thing. What we need is the spirit, the yeah. spirit, the spirit. And we're back to 3 verse 1 where it says, how did you get the spirit? Or 3, 2, is it, how did you get the spirit? You listen to the gospel. That's, <laughs> That's illuminating, right. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So, yes. verse 9, and yes. let us not lose heart in yeah. doing good, for in due time we yeah. shall reap if we do not grow weary. Yeah. Wow. Good stuff. In due yeah, course. it is. In due time we will reap. Yeah. 
at the same time. Yeah. By the way, Luke 14:14 14, 14 is a marvelous verse. You will be rewarded at the resurrection of the just. Luke 14:14. 14, mm. 14. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? It's just straightforward, isn't it? Easy. Yes. You get rewarded like at the resurrection yeah, right. of the just. That's wonderful. Wonderfully clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. So then, while we have opportunity, mm. let us do good to all men. Mm and especially to those who are of the household of the yeah, faith. Yeah, like that. very broad, like isn't it? Do good toward all men. Yeah, especially the yeah. special duty to the yeah. fellow Christians. And it is interesting to me that I can't say I'm doing good toward my fellow man if I don't share the word of the kingdom with him, if I don't share the word of God. Too. Uh, sure. Then actually mm -hmm. I'm not doing too good toward my fellow man. No. I mean, I may help him out in other ways or right. he may help me. But we need this uh, this interaction oh, yeah. relative to the kingdom of God. Yeah. yeah, and one can't just do soup kitchens. You know, some people say really the essence of Christianity is soup kitchens. It's interesting that when there was a famine in Jerusalem, they send a donation to the poor saints. Mm. Then it would be lovely to solve the world's problem. You won't do that this side of the second yeah. coming. Yeah. So you do what you can, especially to the mm. household of faith, yes. I suppose. Yeah. Verse eleven. 11. Mm. See with what large letters mm. I'm writing you with my own hand. <laughs> that must be large letters. I like would think that. so. Yeah, yeah, not large, it. you know. Letters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not long yeah. letters necessarily, yeah. but large. Probably his sight, right? perhaps so. Whatever but that was. He's, he's in, indicated something about his sight yes. earlier, yes. and yes. now here we are talking about. Yes. It. So there, there must be something to that. I would, I would think. think. So. Yeah. 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 Uh, we'll ask him someday. Yeah. <laughs> we'll know for sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Verse 12, mm -hmm. those who desire to make a good showing in the flesh mm -hmm. try mm -hmm. to compel you to be circumcised mm -hmm. simply that they may not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. Mm -hmm. Wow. You yes. talked about that a little earlier. Yes, there is this thought in the commentaries, which is quite interesting, that the, uh, the religion of Jews, Judaism, mm -hmm. was actually protected by the state. Mm -hmm. Christianity wasn't. Mm -hmm. So some wanted to sort of play Jew, you know, mm -hmm. let's pretend to be Jewish, keep the Sabbath and do circumcision. Then we come under that umbrella of protection from the state, mm -hmm. which we wouldn't have if we're just the Christian cult. And there may be none of that there. Right. Some simply want you to go and play Jew and be Jewish in lifestyle. This way you get more approval from the state and uh, less persecution. Yes, yes. Better to stand up to the crucifixion yeah. and say that put an end to right. the law in its mosaic form wow. and be plainly courageous, right? Yeah. And suffer for it. Yeah. And, and we know that there was times when the Jews uh, mm -hmm. went through something. Well, in Acts, we find uh, you know the Jews being forced out of uh, Rome yes. on one occasion. But yes. generally, the Jews ha had a certain a degree of recognition by the state. They did. That's right. And, uh, they may not have liked them a lot, but they that's did right. recognize them and kind of accept yeah. them. No, you're right. There were moments, I think, under Claudius, particularly sure. where, where it didn't always work. But right. in general, there was yeah. some legitimacy right. in being of the Jewish right. faith. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Though. Yeah. Verse 13, 18. Mm -hmm. for those who are circumcised mm -hmm. do not even keep the law mm -hmm. themselves, mm -hmm. but they desire to have you circumcised that they may boast in your faith. Oh, yes. Wow. Sort of headhunting, right? Yeah. So how many people I've circumcised? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's look, very human. It's a, a rather much a look what I've done kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. I think, don't yes. you think, this is just an aside, but don't you think, you know, when we, we talk about uh, Christians sometimes going from America or wherever yeah. uh, to other lands to carry the message. Sometimes I think we have to be careful that our work in that regard really is about the people we're mm. going to carry the message mm. to. Mm. And it's not somehow about me. It, it, no, it's not no. what I'm doing no. and no. what I, you know. We have to get over that. We yeah. have to get beyond that, I yeah. think. I think as you get a little older, it's easier to come to terms with mm. that. When you're young, there's a greater weakness, perhaps, of wanting to be the hero. I, I don't know. I hope that's true. Yes. Uh, but I, I, I do relate, though, to this idea, you know, we're the circumcision. Yeah. We've got the Sabbath. That's the sign. Yeah. The yeah. only true, 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 true church. Yes. And that's not the sign. It was under the old covenant. But under the new, it's the sign of love. Wow. And unity. Yeah. It does seem like in this verse 13 that Paul is again making it clear that uh, when one was circumcised, mm. this uh, carries with it the understanding that you're going to keep the law. Absolutely. Yeah. The whole, what he calls the whole law. Yeah, the entire law. Right. I love that. Same phrase in Acts 15. You know, certain Jewish people came down and said, the Gentiles have to be circumcised and keep and the keep law. The law. That's it. Yeah. It's very important to keep those yeah. two things together. Right. There's right. a whole package that goes mm. with 
circumcision. And if one cannot see that Paul is against that, one really is reading this right. book blind. I think this is and, absolutely clear. Yeah. And what law are we talking about? Again, the one that Paul has identified as coming 430 years after right. Abraham. I love that. Stuff. I like this Abraham thing myself. Oh, I do too. Uh, it's a much nicer, right. purer, understandable way. Oh, it's wonderful. Way. Yeah, like yeah that. get out of your country. You know, Go to a country you've never seen. It's the gospel. Yeah. Leave your family, your national ties, oh, yeah. your family ties. It is. It's everything that we're naturally tied to. And go unseen and unseeing to a land you've never even set eyes on. Wow. That's the kingdom. Yeah. Amazing. So we give up everything for the kingdom. We've never seen it. And yet we know it's coming. Wow. So here we are uh, drawing to the conclusion of this matter, mm -hmm. and Paul is still hammering away at this principle. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it is the whole matter of not being drawn into the law. Yes. And uh, he's just, he just can't say that clearly enough. Well, he does say it quite clearly, actually, yeah. but he, yeah. he wants to make his point very Absolutely. clearly. Verse 14. Mm. But may it never be that I should boast mm -hmm. except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Wow. So oh. he's, he's not going to boast in his law keeping. He's not going to boast in I'm a disciple of Moses right. uh, or even a disciple of John the Baptist. It's mm -hmm. none of that. Mm -hmm. He is the disciple of Jesus Christ. Yeah. He follows and his boasting is in this very odd thing, a crucified Messiah. Isn't, isn't, isn't that, that amazing? Shocking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bearing, as somebody says, the exchange curse on our behalf. Ah, yes. He's substituting for us. I like this idea of being crucified to the world, meaning the world has no effect on me now. Yeah. I'm yeah. dead to the world. Yeah. Just as you said earlier, we're crucified uh, or dead to the law. Yes. Yes, same and effect. Has so no meaning, effect. again, it has no effect on me. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't affect me at all. Right. Yeah. That's wonderful. Verse 15, 15 yeah. for neither is circumcision anything, yeah. nor uncircumcision, but then again that disjunction. Here's what is everything. Absolutely. It is a new creation. Oh, that's wonderful. That's yeah. the key, the new oh. creation. So much bad theology is done when we confuse the two creations. We have oh. Jesus creating man at the beginning, right. rather than Jesus as the head and co-creator mm -hmm. of the new creation, right. Colossians 1, 15 wow. and so on. That's wonderful. I just wanted to comment on our Lord Jesus Christ there. It's sure. worth observing that our Yahweh says impossible. Ah, yes. Nobody says our Yahweh any more mm. than they say our Dan normally. In yes, the, in yes. North Country Park in England they might, but <laughs> our Dan is not the way to go. And nobody has my Yahweh or our Yahweh. But we do have my Lord Jesus and our Lord. This shows that Lord for Jesus doesn't mean Yahweh. Yeah. Otherwise, right it would be our Yahweh, which is impossible. It doesn't, doesn't work in the uh, language at all. It's, it's, it's just not the way the language works. It doesn't work. It's impossible. Our Lord Messiah works, yeah. right? Yes. My Lord Messiah, but not our Lord Yahweh. No. Never. Very good. No. But, uh, and so uh, Paul here is, um, is hammering away again. It's not circumcision or uncircumcision that's, uh, that's that right. this is about. That's not a non-issue. Yes. Just get it out of the way. <laughs> yes. And what he's going to say. But here's what we should be focused on, this new creation. In Christ Jesus. Uh, I love that. It's both Power. renewed and new. People quibble over that. They say it's not really new. It's both new and renewed. Both mm. Greek words mm. are applied to the new covenant and mm. the new creation. I love it. Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, let me uh, mention this too. You were, you were speaking earlier. Mm. I think one of the things that we've missed is, uh, and inevitably this seems to be the case, uh, people turn their attention uh, to uh, the law and to the keeping of Moses' mm -hmm. law, mm -hmm. this becomes very absorbing. It absorbs your life. Oh, yeah. It absorbs. Uh, it affects mm -hmm. the way you dress, the way you mm -hmm. the, everything you do from the time mm -hmm. you wake up in the morning to mm -hmm. the time you go to bed at night. Mm -hmm. And so you're totally absorbed. But I, I'm feeling very strongly here that Paul would have the people to be absorbed in the not that that covenant that is now passed yes. that was a, the blood of bulls and goats ratified yes, but this yes. covenant now that is ratified by the blood of Jesus Christ which has to do with our entrance into the kingdom of God of course. that's what Paul wants them to be excited right. about spending their days and right. talking about and discussing and sitting around the table and teaching their children about the kingdom of God that's exactly that right. is to come and that's uh, exactly right. so I, I only have 24 hours in a day and all yeah. of us have pretty much that same yeah, amount of time <laughs> how many of those hours will I devote yes. toward trying to keep in some way Moses' law yes. which is a very confusing and taxing issue to begin with yes. 
And I'm going to spend my time and my family's time and my wife's time and my children's time. I'm going to invest in that keeping of the law. Well, every hour I spend devoted to those things, yeah. that's an hour I didn't spend rejoicing and glorifying God for the kingdom yeah. that is coming and preparing yeah. myself for that kingdom and preparing my family and, and yeah, others in my right. community. Yeah. Because the constitution of the universe has changed. You see, people who are trying to live under Moses yeah. don't realize that constitution is finished. Yes. It's like trying to pretend that you're living when Ronald Reagan is president. You know, everything you do you know, is geared to him. Be yeah. Well, no, actually that's over. That it's is an anachronism, exactly. big time. Now the cross of Christ has happened. Yes. Live with the new constitution of the universe. Yes. That's the way the universe now works. Yes. It doesn't work yes. in this old yeah. fashion. Yeah. You're wasting your time. And, uh, and all of this with Moses only came for a time anyway until, right. until... And until. We're, more, we're like Abraham. Abraham yes. wasn't under the law, neither no, are we. No. How much was Abraham under the law? Yes, None. It wasn't there. Yes. How much are we under the law? None. Yeah. But does, what do we have to go by then? We have the Messiah, the, the Christ of God, who is our, our leader, our head, our teacher, yeah. our instructor, our guide, our example. He's everything. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. are complete mm -hmm. in Him. The Colossians 2.10 thing. It just keeps you know, striking it, it, me. As you, as you speak, it comes to me clearly. It's a really an insult to Jesus. Mm -hmm. You see, if you're trying to clutch onto these outmoded things, yes. You're really saying, Jesus is not enough. That's it. I need the shadows. You're right. Now, you've got the reality, but I, I you know, that reality is, is right. not really. I, I prefer the shadows. That's, right. That's a tremendous yes. insult to Jesus. Indeed. Well, you know, and I think it's fair to say that the things of the law were indeed foreshadowing, of as it were, uh, the things of Christ. God uh, designed uh, the law to do that. I think uh, the sacrifice, all these things, yes. did have some sense of shadow Sorry. of what was going to come. Now, God had to have known the whole picture before the law in mm -hmm. order to have designed the law mm -hmm. to That's foreshadow this other. Oh, yes. But the law, again, is just right. that shadowing of it. I was thinking of the day, if yeah. you go out on a nice, clear, sunny day, yeah. and you look at, a, at some kind of a, something, you see a shadow on the ground, mm -hmm. And maybe it's something you stand there and study that shadow and study the shadow, and maybe it'll give you some indications mm -hmm. about the the reality of what you're looking at. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at this shadow, <laughs> studying the shadow, and studying on it, mm -hmm. thinking about it. Now it's this and that and the other, all about it. And the, but if I will just turn and begin to look, there is the reality there. It's casting Once the shadow. I see that reality, it becomes pretty silly Sorry. to be standing there and say, "Oh, but I've got to study the yeah. shadow." What are you talking about? You we now is. have the reality. Sorry. Let's walk right. in Jesus Christ. So you're terribly out of date. If yes. you're trying to do Moses, you're out of date. You, you, you would say to people, get with it, you know, yeah. catch up with the system. <laughs> you're lagging behind. That's right. That is the cleverness of the system which draws you away from Jesus back to a, an unprofitable system. Yes. The tragedy is, Dan, it's done with the utmost zeal. Oh, yes. Because it takes a lot of effort to Great put on the prayer tassels Absolutely. and do all of that Jewish stuff that you sure. think is pleasing God. Absolutely. It does take effort. Sure. But it's zeal for God without knowledge. Yeah. That's what Paul Absolutely. complained about. Absolutely. Wow. So you, you can't question the zeal. And, and as you Paul. say, it's like Paul in Romans 10 talking mm -hmm. about his Jewish brother. They, they have a great zeal for yeah, God. No question. no question about that. Recognize but, that. Uh, but not, not according yeah, to the to knowledge. knowledge. And there, there's a bit of a knowledge problem here too, don't oh, you think, oh, with oh, this issue. Totally. Uh, those who would Time. turn to the law and they're yes. doing it zealously right. and determinedly. That's right. And yet, as I said before, they're their own worst enemies when it comes yes. to getting this word of the gospel yes. and the kingdom and the yes. one true God out to the nations. Right. Yeah. It's well. the lure of the Ten Commandments. You know, yeah. the text in, in Revelation which says the, the people of God are those who keep His commandments. Yes. Yes. And yeah. immediately the mind goes back sure. to the Ten. Right. They haven't read this chapter of about course. Hagar. Yes. They haven't read Second Corinthians 3 of course. which says that the glory of Sinai has faded. It's Ab gone. Absolutely. The veil is still over their eyes. Of if course. they're still hung up, exactly. You know, people are going to be quite angered by what I'm saying here. If you're still hung up on the Ten Commandments, yes. get with it. Yes. Move forward and you'll see that life will be even better. That's right. That's exactly right. It's rather radical to say that. Though. Yes, it's quite wonderful though when you understand it that, yes. that we have such a great, yes. the great reality. I'm just not going to spend my time walking and studying the shadows. Yeah. Now that the reality is here, it's wonderful. And look, Very important. That's the lesson of the whole yeah. book. Verse 16. Mm. And those who will walk by this rule, mm. peace and mercy be upon them, mm -hmm. and upon the Israel of God. Yes, people well, have fought right. over this, Dan, this text. And I don't think it's that difficult. Those who walk by this canon, 
mm. the canon of love, in other words, uh, and, yes, uh, the freedom course. from the old ways and, and, and liberty in Christ, those who go by that lifestyle, that's their, their Christian walk, then peace, that uh, wonderful blessing out of numbers, yes. you know, peace and blessing, oh, yes. wonderful. be upon them. Talking of the people in Galatia, right. those who got it right, yes, yes. who understood the message, mm. and of course on the wider international church. Yes. And here the word Israel of God means the church. Of course. Yes, of course we know that there's a future for national Israel. We know that from multiple prophecies. In the end times there will be a national conversion of what we now call natural Jews. Mm -hmm. National Jews. He's not talking about that here. He's talking about the group that's walking by love. Can you imagine how very strange it would be for him to say, you people who are walking by love are doing beautifully. And by the way, blessings on unconverted Israel. <laughs> yes. I don't think so, yeah. but people have fought on this. Yes, yes. Uh, the other text is Philippians 3.3, 3, where he says of the church, we are the spiritual Jews, yes, the spiritual course. circumcision. Absolutely. And then he says that if you've joined the church, the international true church, then you are the commonwealth of Israel. Yes. One more point is that in 1 Corinthians 10.18, he refers to Israel after the flesh. Yes. That's yes. a national, natural Israelite. Yes, Those are yes. the words we need. Wow. National Israel, what we call the Jew today, mm -hmm. more or less. Natural. But this is the spiritual Israel. And if the church doesn't see that it's the international people of oh, God, yes. it's thrown away its inheritance <laughs> to an unconverted Jew. Let's not do that. This makes no sense. <laughs> well, not good. and who, who is it then that God received uh, mm -hmm. according to uh, the promises of Abraham? Those who are in the Messiah. Of course. Those who embrace the Messiah. Those who Isn't are with the Christ. Those are, those are the people. That God looks at and says, hey, I, I always like the thing that John the Baptist, uh, well, he it was very strong, but he told the Jews back there, he said, don't you realize <laughs> that God is able of these yes. stones to raise up children yes. to Abraham? He doesn't need so, you. So, <laughs> you know, what are you talking about? That's right. So God can't be fooled. Mm -hmm. God is going to have a people who will follow his son, mm -hmm. the Messiah Jesus, and will follow him all the way into the kingdom. He's the one leading us there. Isn't it strange how Christians tend to throw away their inheritance? Oh. Blessed are the meek, they get the land. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's, they say, for Jews. So let's work hard to get Jews now back into the land. Wait a minute. Blessed are the meek. I thought that was the Sermon on the Mount. Isn't that <laughs> yes. teaching for us? Yes. In some circles, you don't that's get right. that feeling. That's right. Then you've thrown Jesus away. Yes. You've thrown the teaching of Jesus away. And you've then surrendered your inheritance. Yes. And your titles to unconverted Jews. Why in the world would we want to do that? Not oh my goodness. You've then destroyed actually the core of New Testament mm. theology, flat out. Wow. You've really undermined the Bible I love big it. time. Verse mm. 17. Mm. From now on, let no one cause trouble for mm. me. <laughs> for I bear on my body mm. the brand marks of Jesus. Yes. Wow. That would be the lashes, presumably, you know, the marks on his back from being wow. beaten. I my would think, so, I would think so too, yeah. I've suffered for this, you know, I'm yeah. not kidding you. Yeah. He's been beaten, yeah. kicked out of the synagogue. Paul was the real deal, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> As yeah. They say, yeah. Apparently. And then yeah, I love this, uh, this right. last verse. It's yes. just mighty. Yes. Few words, but powerful. Yes. Verse 18, and I love this. Mm -hmm. It's few words, but mm. very powerful. Mm. Verse 18, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ mm. be with your spirit, brethren. Mm -hmm. Amen. So be it. This is the way it is. <laughs> Apostolic blessing yeah, at the end, right? Yeah, I think so. Very nice. He does it frequently. And I love that uh, a direct reference to the grace of Jesus mm, being yeah. with them. I love that. That's very it powerful, is nice, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. The Spirit of Jesus in the book of Acts. Yes. The grace of Jesus. Yes. He's very much involved Great stuff. in the salvation as it's going on right. here. We mustn't, we mustn't uh, ever lose the centrality of Christ. That's right. Very, very dangerous That's to do that. Well, again, it's yeah. the same one that the same author in, as I keep a, yeah. keeps coming to my mind about Colossians 2 and 10, mm -hmm. we're complete in Him, complete in Jesus. Yeah. And, yeah. and his point is, mm -hmm. we're complete in Jesus. Mm -hmm. No, we don't have to have Moses. We don't need Moses to tell us we shouldn't kill somebody. Jesus has taught us the, the, the insurmountable, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the mighty truths mm -hmm. about these matters. Mm -hmm. Love one another. Well, wow, I don't know what to say. This is just absolutely yeah. amazing. It's wonderful. It is. It's wonderful. Yeah. And, and not that hard, is it? Once not really. I think so. I, I think between us, we've got a fair amount of experience yeah. of seeing these things work out. In, in, this is not academics for us. This mm. is practical experience mm. in dealing with mm -hmm. the different situations. Yeah. And I think it's clear that Paul is making a, a crucial point here. Yes. If, if we miss that point, yeah. 
we really are in, in terrible darkness. Mm. Well, uh, I would suggest anyone who may be uh, tempted or, or drawn mm. into or, or affected by uh, issues related to the keeping of Moses' law, read the book of Galatians, mm. read it again, mm. read it again. Mm. Mm. Let it sink in. Mm. Don't insert anything. Mm. Don't, don't put in <laughs> Paul's mouth words about, well, there's two laws and there's <laughs> this law and there's that law and we're <laughs> all under this one and we're all under... Paul says nothing about no, all of that. No, no, no it's not right. It's simply not right. true. No don't, don't put into his mouth, that, well, he really meant the traditions that they yes. had developed. Paul says nothing no, about that. He no. talks about the law that was given 430 years mm -hmm. after Abraham mm -hmm. and f at Mount Sinai. Mm -hmm. This is very clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. it may not have been what we were expecting, right. but it is the truth of God. Right, and it's don't, mighty. don't add, well, I'm not doing this for justification. <laughs> yes. I understand that we can't be justified by what, yeah. but I'm doing it yeah. for obedience. It's, that is a low point yeah. of creating That's differences right. that are not distinctions right. and throwing the whole system into confusion. Yeah. Very dangerous. You're throwing yourself and, uh, and your life into a terrible muddle. You are. And I think, oh. you know, think of what we're doing mm -hmm. as we venture into those things and we lead our homes, mm -hmm. our families, our wives, oh, yeah. our children yeah. into those things. And it's, it is, as Peter said, mm -hmm. you know, this is a, a tough, tough burden yes. that we uh, weren't able to bear ourselves. That's right. Why in the world would we want to put that on someone else? So as a man of a home, yes. uh, I think I would want to be very careful yes. as I approach uh, the care of my yes. family, my children, yes. and begin to put the burden and the load yes. of saying, well, yes. we're under the law of Moses, yes. or some of it. Yes. Uh, that's another thing Paul never talks about. He never says, well, we're under some of the law, right. but not others. We have to keep some of it. Right. But not. That's an unheard of that's right. concept that's right. to Paul, and also unheard of in the law. Right. Where did, the, where did Moses say, yes. oh, by the way, now some of what I've read, I've read to you today, yes. you have to keep that. What are you talking about? Or Moses didn't say, now, I gave you the moral law, and then I've given you this other law, right. the ceremony. No, he didn't. It's one law. That's right. And it has to be dealt in, right. with in total. Right. In toto. It's a, wow. I think it's the lesson. Because uh, our friends would, would point out that there were times when Paul conceded to sure. the Jewish element. Absolutely. But that's a one-time thing. Sure. By all means, if they insist on the Sabbath keeping, right. are you going to... Fight them on that issue that one day. No, right. keep the Sabbath with them. Yeah. That's fine. But when it becomes a matter of what we do as Christian fellowship across yes. the world, then we have a to whole insist different on this picture. Whole absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Totally different. And I would certainly think, as a Gentile, it becomes yeah. uh, a venture into, uh, I must say, uh, an adventure into the absurd. Oh, yeah. That I, as a Gentile, oh, yeah. I'm going to go try to keep a law, which in itself excluded me as a Gentile. Unless I yes. were to become uh, a, a so. proselyte, a Jewish oh, yeah. person. I think yeah. Wow. So I love this. Yeah. I, I like that uh, five and one. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And Paul is just so uh, so strong about that. Mm -hmm. uh, I love it in the King James. I just love some mm -hmm. of the phrasing mm -hmm. there, but it's, it's mm -hmm. the same either way, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty. Stand mm -hmm. fast mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. liberty wherewith Christ, mm -hmm. the Messiah, mm -hmm has made us free. Mm -hmm. Don't be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Right. Just don't get tangled into that. Right. Don't get caught up That's in right. it. That's right. It's, it's a, That's a right. terrible uh, diversion That's right. away from the things of That's the kingdom right. of God and the, yes. the things that God yes. wants us to have. Well, Very clear. Wow. Well, great. Yep. Well, I love it. Well, thank you so much for, oh, uh, for all of this. It's been a great, great pleasure for you, too. A wonderful thing.